What will come out of here in Trainer, Pennsylvania will keep these in the air. It's jet fuel. Delta Airlines has secured 80% of its jet fuel needs, cutting out the middleman, buying this idled refinery from ConocoPhillips for $150 million. Delta Airlines is entering the oil refining business. When we first heard about it two months ago, I said, no way in the world. Tell me what's happening with Delta and the trainer refinery. Delta's going to try something really interesting. I think they're looking at it and they're saying, we're tired of paying $10 or more over the price of crude, which is very expensive for jet fuel. What Delta has secured is the delivery network for jet fuel reaching throughout the Northeast, including its hubs at New York's JFK and LaGuardia airports. The refinery might cost $150, $200 million. And from the perspective of an airline like Delta, that's less than they would pay for a modern 777 aircraft. The state of Pennsylvania added $30 million to the deal for job creation, and Delta plans to spend an additional $100 million to upgrade this facility to produce as much jet fuel as possible. It's jet fuel Delta wants. It will trade the gasoline and diesel that comes out of here with other refiners for more fuel for its planes. The trainer facility behind me is an oil refinery. It's idle. The fact that an airline would even consider buying an oil refinery underscores a drama unfolding in the Northeast. Nearly half of the refining capacity on the East Coast has either shut down or could shut down later this year. Buying and turning the trainer facility back on helps Delta avoid a potential spike in prices and even a shortage, which is also a threat to consumers in the Northeast. I don't reckon there'll be, uh, be you know, uh, visions of the 70s with gas lines and rationing, but uh, certainly there could be, there's a possibility there might be later in the season some shortages, but I think they won't possibly occur until uh, August or into the fall. Even with gas prices close to $4 a gallon, some northeastern refiners are losing up to a million dollars a day. Currently, they're only equipped to handle imported oil from Europe and North Africa, which costs up to $30 more per barrel than the type of crude oil refineries on the Gulf Coast use. Christine Romans, CNN, Trainer, Pennsylvania.